And I'm Cecilia, and now it's time for CHS Today. The month of February is National Black History Month. And this year's focus is black health and wellness. For the rest of the month, we will be highlighting African Americans that have impacted the health community. Our first honoree is Daniel Hill Williams. Williams was an African American doctor born in 1891 and is known as one of the first surgeons to successfully complete open heart surgery. He also was heralded for opening the first interracial hospital on Chicago's South Side and implemented one of the first sterilization pro procedures in his clinic. In May of 1891, Williams opened the Provident Hospital and Training School for Nurses. This school was the first hospital with a nursing training program with interracial staff. In 1895, he also co-founded the National Medical Association for Black Medical Practitioners. During his life, Williams advocated for the African American presence in the medical field and is known today as one of the most accomplished surgeons of his time. If you are planning to attend IU East and are also interested in playing esports in college, you are invited to attend a meeting in Mr. Mitchell's room, JE121, during SRE tomorrow. The head coach from IU East will be there to share information. You must sign up with Mr. Mitchell and receive a pass to attend. Today is the final day for our auditions. Auditions are in the auditorium after school. If you are interested, please come and try out. Academic teams have a meet today. All members must report to the CHS Media Center at 5 p.m. unless their coaches want them to meet before that. The meet will start at 5.30. Dinner won't be provided. Also remember that the February 2nd meet got postponed to February 24th. See any coaches if you have any questions. A representative from Cincinnati State will be here today during SREs for anyone who wants more information. If you would like to meet with the representative, please see your counselor. It's another week, so here's another weekly Russell report. Good morning, CHS. This is Mr. Russell for another weekly Russell report. A couple things I want to report. Some good news. Um, our choir people had a contest at New Palestine over the weekend, and every single individual received a gold. So uh, that is fantastic. I'm very proud of you guys. So congratulations there. Uh, also, I'd like to uh, congratulate those archers who uh, end up qualifying for state as well. So they're heading to the state. So I'm very proud of you guys as well, and good luck. Um, that's all I have for this week. I uh, hope everyone has a good week. Stay warm. Uh, be sure you keep up with your work and stay off that SRE list. Until next week, this is Mr. Russell. Take care. Having a water tasting activity on Wednesday. February 23rd in Madame Medina's room. Please sign up in Google Classroom if you plan to attend. On this day in history in 1998, the battle, the U.S. battleship Maine mysteriously exploded in Havana Harbor. This accident led to the death of 260 crew members and pushed the U.S. closer to war with Spain. Line workers rescue a parrot stuck up in a 60-foot tree in Massachusetts. A power company rescued a parrot that was too afraid of flying down. The previous owner had the bird's wings clipped, so the parrot was just recently started learning how to fly. The bird was stuck in a tree for about an hour before it was rescued. Malaysian fight was di diverted when a passenger spotted a loose snake on the plane. 
Air Asia confirmed that the plane had taken emergency landing when there was a presence of a loose snake. The snake was said to be slithering inside of the light fixture in the ceiling. The airline staff searched the plane for the snake, but it was unclear if the reptile was ever located. Lunch for tomorrow will be a classic American cheeseburger with sliced tomatoes, green leaf lettuce, fresh sliced red onions, pickles, and tater tots. Other options include mini turkey corn dogs or crispy chicken sandwich with oven baked curly fries and a whole grain dinner roll. It was really cold this morning. Are those temperatures actually going to warm up, Keaton? Thanks guys, looking at the weather later today, it's going to be clear skies, but it's actually going to be a little cold today. It's going to be around 27 degrees at 5, but going into later tonight, it's going to drop into 19 degrees. Going into tomorrow morning, it's going to be a little clouds, and it's going to be a little chilly. Moving into tomorrow, it's, we're still going to see some clouds, but it's actually going to have a high of 46 degrees. Going into Wednesday, it's going to actually be super warm. Um, and it's going to be 57 with a low of 39. And going into Thursday, we're actually going to see a 100% chance of rain, but temperatures around a high of 57 and low of 25. That's all for the weather. Now back to the desk. Now over to Caleb with the sports. Thanks, guys. The Nessex team performed well last night against Shelbyville. J.C. Allen plays first all around. Kieran McKinney plays third all around. Madison Jordan plays fourth all around, and Ellie Lakes plays sixth all around. Good job, Spartans. The track team is in search for a manager. Please see Coach Cooley if you are interested. Managers receive an athletic point per season. There is no sports action for tonight. That's all for the sports, not back to the birthdays. Birthdays for today are Nancy Garcia Vasquez and Layla Gross. Birthdays tomorrow are Lily Birds, Gracie King, and Mercedes Stephan. Happy birthday. Happy Tuesday. I hope I read better today, and that's all for CHS Today.